what I'm talking about. Friday, man. Friday. And we're going to hang out with Stan. We got some guests coming up. And I hope y'all went. I hope y'all had a fantastic week. It's been, uh, it's raining here in the Carolinas this, uh, this afternoon. Looks like yeah. it's a little while longer too. So, uh, we're going to talk about all kind of fun stuff. We got the King of the Tennessee tomorrow. Stan's going to be hosting that. I'm going to try my best to, uh, help him out with that. So, um, and- I'm going to talk about all kind of fun stuff. We've got some links out there. We've got special guests waiting in the, in the basement and, um, uh, but uh, appreciate everyone coming in. I'm gonna turn it over to Stan. Stan, appreciate you. Hope you're doing good, brother. Ooh, I'm I'm doing great. Doing f- 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 fantastic. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> so there we go. We've got we're up to almost 20 awesome people out there. Of course, you got Sampy's out there. How's it going, Sampy? You got 922 Crappy Barbecue. Uh, hey, Jersey River Rat. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Uncle Jeep. So who's working the barbecue tonight? Well, you know, I think we got somebody locked in the basement that may be working on that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So there's uh, Jeff Beal out there. How's it going? Doug, Rebel River Cats. Good to see you. Uh, Boom, boom, boom. boom. River Cats Tackle. What's up, John? Great to see you. Rowdy Royal, Fisher for Whiskers. How's it going, Rhonda? There we go. That's it. There we go. I, I don't even oh, turn this. Lord, how mercy is this? Who gave? Who let this guy in here? I don't know how he gets these passes on these shows. He's got some connection you know, somewhere. I don't want you to look. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to spike your show up tonight, baby. Spike <laughs> <laughs> right to the top of the ratings. Why? Oh my goodness, great! Wait a minute. Award winning, award winning, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Bank Fisherman himself. Daryl Morris. What the what? Hey, Daryl. I think my hey, wife hey. must. Have, hey. I think my wife must have sent him the link. I think that's Man. how he got it. Man. Hey. Don't your phone rain and stuff when you do thumbs down? Is it, oh, yeah, let's, let's do, do the uh, let's do the double thumbs down. Let's see if well, we can get well, that. Do that. Ooh, baby. It's just sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Ooh, it's oh, like well. a, it's like a oh. oh. A ray of sunshine in here, baby. Oh, a ray of sunshine God. when I come in. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, you're right about that, fish shizzle. Fish shizzle. There goes the neighborhood. Miss Smith said I could drop by anytime. <laughs> anytime. Yeah, I think she's. I think she's kind of a fan. Stan and I are trying to help her with that. But it's, yeah, yeah, we're trying to. Uh, I got. I sent her to therapy. I hope yeah. it helps out. Yeah, but. it was called shock treatment. There is nothing like yeah. Daryl therapy. Baby. Yeah, every time she heard the name Daryl, we shocked her. Like. Zzz, <laughs> zzz, zzz. There we go. We got all bright eyed and bushy tail. Uh, well, we're up to 33 awesome people out there. There's Steve Ransom, Crappy Day Fish on. How's it going? Fishing for whiskers. Good to see you, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. For shizzles, there goes the neighborhood. And he should know because he's, you know, he's part of that Tennessee crew down he's, there. He's in the neighborhood. That's right. He's in that neighborhood. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit here. <laughs> cool cats, James is saying, Oh Lord, everywhere I go, there he is. Uh-huh. Who opened the cage? Yeah, everybody's, you know, same thing here, Daryl. I'm, I don't see anybody that's saying, "Man, I'm glad Daryl is here." Hey, what? I thought, I thought we were gonna have Woody up here. What? What happened to this? Hey, no, I said Woody had the link. link. And- Woody had the link, and I stole it from it and deleted oh. it off of his phone, baby. Oh man, so I am the award winning. I said the award winning. The Bank fisherman derail Maurice. Oh, Look, wait, I'm award you're winning. I'm gonna go down that road. I'm award winning too. Look at I got the Golden Whisker Awards, not oh, one man. but two of them. I'll there be right back. Youth I'll Angler go nominee. Award. I'll be back. See, <laughs> and then see, and then JG this year is going to be co host of the year. We need another, we need another category. We need to talk to Mr. Kevin Palmetto about it. We need a co-host of the year, and we're going to get Mr. JG right in the middle of all that. That's a great idea. That's a great idea because yeah. you know what, Daryl? He does the. I know you know some of that because you've seen some of that. 
uh, the past few weeks with everything we've been working on, the giveaways, and now the, the uh, king of the king of the Tennessee and uh, JG and I, we try to talk every Wednesday night for a few hours, and uh, you know, for him to try to teach me technology, that's a big undertaking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so. hey I'm gonna tell you what: a good ho co-host works way harder than a host does. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, well, here's the here it is. Who was here first? <laughs> All right. Look at that. We got we got bling, man. Uh oh. Bling, -a bling, -a bling. -a -bling. See that? Uh huh. When you're blinging, you're blinging. There yeah. you go. So I, I just y'all were y'all were going y'all had to bring it all out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're blinging, baby, you're blinging. This is the bling yeah. show. Oh yeah. Lord. Cool cats is saying, don't make me break out my medals. Uh huh. Yeah. What well, we need is a wheelbarrow for him. Yeah, that's right. He was kicking kicking butt this year. My night is complete because Daryl showed up. Wow, there's finally. <laughs> He's like somebody had to admit it. Uh -huh. That's me, baby. <laughs> How much did you pay him at CatCon, Daryl? How much did you pay him Friday. at CatCon? Hey, that's between me and him, and ain't none of your business. Well, uh, Rhonda is out there. Uh, if anybody that is doing the uh, that is fishing or has fished the the King of the Tennessee tournament, you're more than welcome to come up. Because tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about tournaments. Yep. Uh, you know, we are chock full of tournaments and friendly challenges and all kinds of stuff. So there is a live event for everybody out there. Uh, you know, and that's what I think is great right now. We got the King of the Tennessee going on. Uh, you know, if you want to, uh, JG, if you want to pop up that, do you have this, did we did we share the score sheet out for that? Uh, from the last week? Yeah, from last week. So we can see where it starts right now. And Rhonda, if you want to, the link, the Streamyard link. You don't, really have to, uh, you don't have to show that if you don't want to, Stan. Don't you don't take that back down. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I was. Uh, but there we go. There <laughs> is really the. Uh, you know what, Daryl? But but honestly, uh, you know, there were, uh, several people had a rough day. Uh, it was not. It was not a, a fire bite that day. It wasn't a great bite yet. You had uh, the Tennessee River had a 17-pound average fish, 30 yep. fish caught for the day. Uh, 30 fish caught for the day. Almost. Uh... All right, Kevin, no problem. Uh, 30 fish caught for the day, 550-something pounds, almost 17-pound average, uh, almost 100-pound average per hour for a live tournament. I will take that every day of the week. The Tennessee River really did show, uh, did show up for this. And like I said, it wasn't even a, it was not a great bite day by any means. Uh, people were having tough days, and to average that out, that's great showing for the Tennessee River. Yeah. So we had uh, Ray Ferguson here at ninety five point oh two. Um, we had uh, Pontoon Jody came in there at eighty four point three. Had a 62.89 big fish. That's awesome. Yep. So, uh, 17.4 pounds average. That's almost 17 yeah. and a half pound average. That's pretty dang good. That's that, uh, for, for it being a tough day, like that was not a, a day to be fishing the Tennessee River. And, no. uh, 30 fish and six hours. So great showing. But Tennessee definitely, definitely stood up for itself. Now, tomorrow, I think it's going to be a tough day. We got a. Oh. Come on. Come on. Look oh, at that. Damn. <laughs> so, tomorrow, I hear. You know, what do you think? What's your predictions for tomorrow, Daryl, with the King of the Tennessee? I, I hear tough conditions, rough. right? I think it's just. I think it. You know what? Honestly, I think that you couldn't have come out with two uh, Saturdays that's going to be a whole lot of life. I think you had the rain last Friday and then it turned cold and I think it's going to be about the same way this Friday, this Saturday. Uh, you know, it's raining today and tomorrow is supposed to uh, uh, be cold and windy. So I think you're going to have a community a lot of life. I think it's, it, you know, I don't like having tournaments two different days and we're going to change that now. 
Mm-hmm. But I think I don't think anybody can say one one half had a better day than the other half for sure. Unless you know, unless I'm I'm wrong and it turns differently at, come tomorrow. But looks like uh, this Saturday and last Saturday will wind up being about the same type day. Yeah. Well, I want to welcome in Palmetto Cats. How are you, sir? Okay. I'm fine. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Did you broke it? Google Chrome quit unexpectedly. I can't even. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Weird. Are you good? You want me to leave you here? Hang out with us? You good? Yeah, I'm fine. All yeah. I hear is the music on you guys. Though. I can barely hear you guys. Maybe it's just because it's coming through your phone. I don't know. Why don't you go out and come back in? You already tried that? Yeah, because there's no music on us. There's, there's the music. We got the background music. We've been Real trying, low, to, uh, trying to keep that low. Oh, that's fine. But uh, Let me go back in and come back. Okay, dude. Right, thank you. Thank you. Ronda says, well, dang, howdy, Kevin. I walk away to get a cinnamon roll, and boom, boom, bam, Kevin appears. 55 awesome people out there. Well, since Kevin brought that up, how is the music? We're trying to keep that just a low... Uh, <laughs> It's real low. It's, um, yeah, I can barely hear it. Because I have... Uncle Jeep says, get a big hammer. Hammers fix everything. Absolutely. Kevin, so come we... here to spike the ratings also. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So anybody that is fishing the, the King of the Tennessee, you're more than welcome. Rhonda, drop the link out there. Yeah, I just put it in there. And JG dropped it out there. Thank you, thank you, mm-hmm. JG. You know, I got a couple people out there. You're gonna have Bob and uh, Fishizzle fish tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you got the current champion Ryan Bortz. Uh, you got. Uh, <laughs> I won't go into the nicknames that he's been called back in the uh, group chat, but you got Kayak Mike and yeah. a bunch of great anglers tomorrow. You got uh, uh, Chad, Chad and D. Yeah. Uh, and then you got Chris and Telly. Chris and Telly, Jody. No, James. Or James, I'm sorry. Let me look and see if I if we still have if I still have that sheet. That's about every one of them. Oh, uh, one more. What's his name? Yeah, uh, Jeff, not Joe. What is his name? Adam? What is it? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Does he have a channel? Because I couldn't find his link. Uh, he's in the I've got Bob and Cool Cats, Chris and Telly, Chad, Chad D, Ryan Sports, Kayak Mike, Derek Agnew, and Dave Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Captain Morgan and uh Derek Agnew was the two we left out. So that's to get so long. Okay. So uh Kevin, you heard oh. <laughs> he took off. <laughs> so yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree, Daryl. I think that uh, you know having the tournaments. I think that's the wave of the future. Having the tournaments on the same day because there's, uh, you know, if we're, if we're gonna do the tournaments, you have it on multiple channels on the same day. Everybody's everybody's fishing the same basic conditions then, yeah. and uh, you know, I think that that's. Uh, just just look at this past you know this this past few weeks and the next couple weeks coming up we've had the the king of the Tennessee last Saturday this Saturday uh, we've got bank verse boat on JG's channel and my channel on the thirtieth uh, you've got uh, fish and fevers uh, the Hickory heavyweight coming up you've got the mm-hmm. start of the live fishing tournament league with Brian B with the Uno tournament and that is April. What th- what date is that? April. That's April sixth. Yeah. Also. All right. Uh, Roberto. Roberto. What's happening? What is going on there, Bobcat? I don't know, man. I'm excited about tomorrow. Absolutely. It's going to be got, windy. Uh, it's going to be. It's going to be great. I've got some. Um, you know, Daryl and I were talking backstage about the weather that's coming in there. Uh, I think my big concern for the most of the anglers is the wind. Yeah. Uh, you've got some high winds coming in there. Uh, so guys, be careful. Uh, 
202 will get you up in just a second. We got 202 backstage also. We'll get yeah, him up I've here had, in just a minute. I've had concerns about that all day and talking to people who are fishing tomorrow. I'd absolutely not be out on the open lake tomorrow trying to fish for catfish. Yeah, I'm thinking wow. about going to be pulling boards tomorrow. Uh, you're pulling it? boards, you're backing up tomorrow. I don't know. It's not working for me. Find, find you a big curve in the Tennessee River and try to find the, the unwindy part of it. Yeah, it's, it's a, that's the one that usually goes first, and that's not even working right now. Uh, Stan, Stan 3 is saying, uh, I'm calling Bobcat for the king of the Tennessee. There you go. Yeah, I, hope so. I love I love Bob and I love Daryl. I, I want it bad. But I think that uh, my man Ray's gonna take this. Yeah, it Ray. could be. He'll it tell you the be. same thing. He ain't got enough weight. There ain't enough weight there for him to hold it. I don't know with the weather conditions and everything else. Let's just see how it goes. You know, it's um, I've got the weather for ten mile Tennessee pulled up here, Stan. I'm gonna bring that up, but. Yeah, please. Please. So what it's saying here is that <laughs> uh, for Saturday. Uh, In the no, park, no. you think it was. Oh, go ahead. Rain showers, <laughs> rain showers early with some sunshine later in the day. High 58 degrees. Winds north to 10 to 10 to 20 miles an hour out of the north. Chance of rain, 60%. So, you know, it's, I don't know. You know, you guys just have to be careful. I, you know, get those guys in those kayaks, you know, these guys that are out there are, are real pros. They're not, this is well, not their, this is not their first rodeo. Yeah. I know uh, where Captain. the guys, I know where the guys in the kayaks are going to be at. And I'll, I'll say this about that. I will give them no quarter. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he gets no quarter. Wow. <laughs> they, they get no quarter. Is that is well, that something you used to use in a payphone? What box? about a nickel? Was it a quarter <laughs> you put in a payphone? I think that's what that. Was. <laughs> I'll say this. Oh, yeah. I'll say either Ryan will win it or Bob and Brandon will win it. That's the two I say is going to win it. I don't know, you know, you know, Chad and D are going to be down there in big fish land, okay. but they're going to be out in the open in the wind. Yeah, that's so, the bad part. They're down there in make things tight. They're okay. in the wrong area for this wind. Now, now and Houston and Wheeler are two very bad lakes in the wind. Yeah. Now, Terry, and, uh, Telly, and Chris have have got a good shot at it too, but I think Bob. And Brandon's got a, the best shot, and then Chad, or uh, not Chad, but uh, Ryan, just because the knowledge of where he's going to be fishing at, his knowledge of where he'll be fishing at. Well, speaking of that, that's my next question for everybody. How important do you think that is on, on events like this where you've got, uh, I'm just going to do air quotes out of towners because I've heard that said a lot. Uh, how important do you think it is? You know, on the average day, somebody can come in and whatever. But when you've got uh, adverse conditions coming in, how important do you think it is to know the river and where to go and what to do? Uh, it's, it's, it's hard. To, yeah, it's hard to call these guys out of towners just because. Here's the thing: Chris and Telly's been down several times, and they know a lot of places. So they're not. I mean, yeah, they're out of town, but they've fished the the lake many days. Uh, and then you got Ryan that has fished it several times, and he's going to have uh, Derek and Mike in his hip pocket. They're going to just be fishing where he's fishing at. So, and yeah. he knows where the big, you know, he knows where the big fish areas are too. So, it's really hard to say that you're really going to have any out of towners that really don't know. You know, Chris and or, or D and, and Chad, uh, you could count that as, but the rest of the people's been fishing it a good bit. Well, and. Uh, Bob, what do you think about it? Uh, well, I mean, like tomorrow, I pretty much taught Ryan how to fish the area that he's going to be fishing. So, my bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, Chad no, Bob, B, I mean, they, 
they they fished Alabama more than they have up here in Chattanooga. And uh, and Chris and Telly, they, I think they've got a game plan together. So I will right, we'll see. I've heard you've done that pay. for. I've heard you've done that for quite a few people there, Bob. What's that teaching uh-huh. how to fish my area? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I'm, I enjoy teaching people the what bad I thing do. Is you're gonna have what? there's gonna be four of you fishing that area that wind up doing what you're doing tomorrow. That's gonna Probably. be bad. What's the word on the current? Can, are you gonna have enough current to bump? Um, I, let's say that I have bumped. I have bumped it down to ten thousand cfs. It is not easy. Um, it gets harder the lower it gets because you you have a hard time keeping bottom. And the fish are just not as active at the low flow. The flow affects the fish. Oh, absolutely. When, when that flow is low, they're just kind of being lazy, and you almost have to bonk them on the head with a sinker to get them to bite. Mm-hmm. But fortunately, I know the places where they're sleeping. <laughs> <So> <laughs> hopefully, I can wake one of them up, Let's, or a few of them and, up, maybe. Right. And another thing is, in the morning, t- now, they just slowed it down uh, the last two days of what they're doing now and but the good thing is the morning time the current's higher and they lower it down in the evening so that that's going to help them tomorrow yeah and then they'll they'll bump it back up of course that this won't apply tomorrow but usually they'll bump the flow back up around six o'clock when everybody gets off work and heads home Uh Uh they'll pulse it throughout the day they better catch their fish the first three hours, probably. I would yeah, say. I, I'd say that's 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 uh, that's true. Yeah. But I, right. here's the thing: I haven't fished the morning all year. I really haven't, so I don't know what the morning bite's gonna be like. I have no clue. Shame on you. I know. I just <laughs> haven't had the opportunity. Well. I, <laughs> I think it's going to be, you know, this time of year, I think that's what's great about it. That's why you hear so many big fish being caught, uh, you know, at the end of winter, that early spring to that next, because it's uh, pretty much the conditions at night and day. There's not those huge transitions where it's super, super cold at night and, you know, super, super hot during the day. And, uh, you know, the, the conditions are similar for different parts throughout the day. You know what I mean? So I think that that morning bite, if uh, you can find the right current and you can find the right depth and the right structure and you get bait in their face, I think that you'll, you got a good shot of getting them to bite. Daryl, what, what do you know? Sorry, and Stan, I didn't mean to interrupt no, you. No, go ahead. Daryl, what uh, do you know as far as the anglers that are fishing? Do you have anglers fishing from Fort Loudon all the way down to Chattanooga? Uh, I think the biggest concentration, as far as I know, is going to be. Uh, yeah, we've got Captain Morgan will be a a, a, a river from us. Uh, I, so I'm not fishing tomorrow, but I, the biggest concentration is going to be right there in Chattanooga. And then you're going to have D and uh, Chad down in Alabama. So, well, and there you go, Captain Morgan. Uh, yep, we've Port seen Loud him. He fishes Alabama. He yeah. fishes uh, Stan Day and he fishes Jody's Challenge on Friday nights. One of the other ones we're going to talk about, but. He's right. Just, Don't count him out. He gets on some good fish, too. And he's going to be at Fort Loudon. You better find a place to have the wind up there, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Or have a huge wind uh, drift sock. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> size of the bottom of Bailey Circus tent. But, you know, again, guys, you know, the weather's the main thing. You know, you're the captain of your ship, and you make the right calls. Uh, just make sure you stay safe out there, uh, and I know you will. There's a lot of good boaters that will be out here fishing this tournament and good anglers. Look forward to uh, everyone coming into uh, Two Stands Fishing Channel tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll launch that launch that tournament off. We had a good tournament last Saturday. Looks like, you know, everyone had pretty good weather. Uh, we, uh, we had a lot of fun with that tournament. Uh, some good fish. It was steady. We had 29 fish caught. So in six hours, we yeah, were steadily catching fish. So, you know, uh, that takes, uh, you know, sitting around watching catfishing, you know, we try we try to make it entertaining as we can. But you have to love catfishing. I mean, you don't have to love it, but you want to get into it. 
Uh, catfishing is slow, slow bite. Uh, but Stan um, uh, here is a uh, entertainment from uh, <laughs> there. There he will well, keep going. I've actually, yeah. I've actually talked to a few people. I've got that. I've got some things prepared, all ready to go. When the when the bite is slow, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do some informative things coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked to you know several people that are that specialize in certain things. That's what's unique about tomorrow. Is we've got some great people that specialize in bumping and. You know they know their stuff all the way around, but we got bump and we got kayaks, we got you know anchored, we got a bunch of stuff, so we can get some great information, uh, kind of like what we did last week when we were talking. Ray was showing you know his oxygen tank and talking to him about uh, big fish bites. You know, don't think just because it hits it, just a little bump, it's not necessarily just a small fish. That could be a big fish. And right, it was you know we we're talking about the flathead bite there. It's a slow bite. So, you know, Ray was talking about the flathead, you know, that rod, uh, it'll start, it'll just start with a really slow pull. And I mean, you just never know. You get you a good flathead in there. You'll be really excited about that. Let me catch and, something real quick right here. Uh, tomorrow, you do not have to be on the river. If the wind's blowing hard and there's some big breakers out there, I've, I've said from the beginning, you can go up a creek, uh, back in a cove, whatever. You do not, as long as the Tennessee River feeds, it feeds into the Tennessee River, whatever. You can go there. So please, please, if you're, if there's bad wind, either don't fish if it's that bad, or get back in a cove or go up a creek because that does not disqualify you in this tournament. As long as it yeah. runs into the Tennessee River. You're good, so I'll hutch up. But I just wanted to make sure, and Stan, you make sure they all know that tomorrow also. Absolutely. We just lost an angler on Hoover again, didn't we? Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Uh, I thought I heard something. Somebody yeah, heard. I mean, there was someone else that, that capsized up there here last week or so. Uh, I heard about that. So that's that's two two folks I know of that, you know, that a win's been a problem. Can do you have audio, Kevin? No, I was waving to Epic. Oh, <laughs> Epic's in the house. And, uh, you know, one of the things I saw, a new person out there, Stan 3 met him at the boat ramp. Uh, Dustin Winkles, I think, was the name. Okay. You know, you hear me say it a lot about being the catfish ambassadors out there. Uh, Dustin, if you have any questions, email us at the number 2 stansfish at gmail.com. We'll, we'll be live uh, Sunday morning also. We got the King of the Tennessee Tournament tomorrow morning, uh, 9 a.m. to 3 we got stand day on Sunday morning from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, if you want to, if you're able to come back in into chat on Sunday morning, uh, you know, we can talk about a bunch of things on the James River. Uh, tonight we're kind of just going over some of the tournaments that we've got going on. But I know Stan 3 and I love love helping uh, local people out, and uh, we can give you some great tips for the James River. Uh all the way up to the point to where he won't tell you where he's fishing. It's an undisclosed location somewhere, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> east of Richmond. <laughs> yeah, and they won't and they won't talk about their new uh, rocket ships that the uh, rocket motors they have on their boat. That's, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I like the Pete's well. spot secret too. Our grandpa's pond. There he is. I mean, isn't this awesome? Like new to the new to your channel. Met one of the guys at a boat ramp looking. Y'all have going on would would love to get tips on catching a big blue. I have a fourteen foot John boat. I have a fourteen foot John boat and nine point nine. I mean, and that's you know that's what I started off with. Yeah, uh, first mean, boat was a fourteen foot John boat with nine nine point nine Evan Reed. Yeah, and you just you yeah. just keep going. You you know a lot of us started at the on the bank and uh, mm -hmm. stand three. One of the best days stand three and I had on the river. We were, we forgot our. We didn't have an actual like gas motor yet. We had a trolling motor and forgot the batteries, but we had a couple of coal shovels in the back of the truck and we were paddling the paddling our John boat with coal shovels. One of the best days. And you've seen us catch some some nice fish and a lot of one of the best days we've had on the rivers before we started YouTube. We paddled out in the river with coal shovels. So you don't need the hundred thousand dollar boats. You don't need uh you just go yeah, you gotta get nice. out there and 
Uh, but uh, no, I have to draw the line at that, Stan. Yeah, well, hey, you know, as Epic says, when you're catfish savage, you know, when when Stan three's uh -huh. there, it's not like we're going home. He was already headed to the river to fish. Uh huh. There's no uh, saying, well, son, you know, we should. No, nope, we're fishing. Uh, there's no. <laughs> That's right. Can't buy, patching. Can't buy patching. Uh, yeah, you say that a lot, JG, and I, I, uh, that's a great expression. <sighs> hey, is anybody else having a problem with Google Chrome tonight? Mm, I'm not. I'm it not. won't I'm, open up on my phone or my computer. No, I'm not having I'm problems. A, I'm on Google Chrome now. I'm having no mm. problems. Pay your bills, Kevin. <laughs> see, I'm in version 12, 1, Kevin, 2, 3. So Kevin, I promise you we didn't send Daryl the link, okay? It was Woody. <laughs> We sent the link, <laughs> well, like and even he on stole this, it from Woody. Even on this, I'm clicking join chat, and it says you got to connect to YouTube channel. It says huh. I want to use Google Chrome, and it won't even let me sign in on my phone. It's weird. That is weird. Chrome just did an update. Oh, okay. There you go. Mine says uh, ARM64, ARM64, checking for updates. Uh-oh, it might be trying to update right now. Welcome and to I think Kevin's on a Mac, though. I'm on a Mac, too. This is a yeah. Mac, uh, an iMac. And uh, <laughs> Epic, we are all the way up to a 30-horsepower motor. Can you believe it? <laughs> but how can I how can I upload it if I can't get on the Internet? <laughs> yeah, how that's just I, good How question. can I download an update if I can't get on it? Turn yeah. that thing off and turn it yeah. back on. Oh, I've already done it. Three times already. Mm -hmm. um, so, um... Daryl, what are what are most people using for baits on the Tennessee River? For those that are in here listening that don't uh, know a lot about the Tennessee, mostly skipjack is going to be uh, what most people use. I'm a big uh, bluegill fisherman. I use it mostly, but you know I do use skipjack also. But the number one uh, bait that most everybody uses is skipjack, and then probably after that would be bluegill. Well, I just seen in chat that somebody tomorrow has got a new secret bait. That means they're using chicken because they couldn't catch nothing. No, he's he's using Walmart Eagle. <laughs> Walmart, <laughs> Walmart what? Did, did he send you that video also? <laughs> yeah, I just seen Walmart it in Eagle. chat. Is Walmart that Eagle. like carp, carp dough? Ryan had a bad yeah, day carp trying carp to catch bait today. That's yeah, seagulls. I'm seeing that. Uh, for, and, and here's what I suggest, uh, and, and Kevin, you can speak on this because you have hosted probably, uh, you know, it's probably close between you and Chad and uh, who's hosted most tournaments out there. When you get those back, you know, those little Facebook groups going and stuff, like be prepared because it is nonstop. <laughs> yeah, I don't do Facebook messages anymore because... Like I got called, uh, Dan used to call me the the party pooper because <laughs> I create a I would create a, um, a Facebook message messenger chat with all the contestants, you know, and then everybody just talked smack so much that <laughs> the the people who work regular jobs like just mute it, and so that I can't get information out, <laughs> and so I'm yep. like, would you guys stop? Oh, you're a party <laughs> pooper, oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it, it, it's from blah, like blah, midnight blah. one night to midnight the next. And it's just, it's, uh, you know, somebody will get, get off of work or something at 3 a.m. and saying, you know, and yeah. Ryan Bortz was just put like three or four messages in, I in have, there about. I have and, guys message me and say, hey, man, look, I had to delete, I had to get out of the group. I just yeah. <laughs> I'm I like, I'm sorry. Mine. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I. I took a page out of your book, and I, whenever I do this now, I put like two or I create two or three group chats. One is the smack talk one. One is the information. Yeah, that's for the way to do it. That's and one is it. one is captains, and you know you pick two or three people and info you know, for anything. only. Don't talk unless you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bad idea, really. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Well, that's it's, fun, it's fun to smack talk. It's fun oh. to do all that, but when you need to get out information, like. Hey Stan, I had yeah. I don't have this or whatever. Yeah, uh, you and know people it, aren't reading it because they think it's just smack talk. Absolutely, you know you'll have your three diet hard people in there that read everything, but uh, it's usually Jody <laughs> and, well, and 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 um, 
what's the name? Darrell. <laughs> yeah, Darrell. You know, it's, it's, funny. it's funny because oh, I, I mute, I mute mine. I, I'll go back and read it afterwards, but I mute mine. Every chat I get, this one of those smack talking chats, I just mute it where I don't. Even oh, hear please, Daryl. When I'm at work, Darryl. <laughs> and I'm trying to get stuff done, I mute the chats. Like, until I get done, I'm done. And then when I get a moment, I'll unmute it and read it. I never <laughs> unmute it. <laughs> yeah, but that's uh, that's what we do. But that's you know that's part of it, man. That's so I suggest if uh, if you haven't done a live tournament before, uh, and you want to, you know, you're, you're thinking about doing that. Uh, you know, some of the options you have is you have stand day on Sunday mornings. Uh, it's nine up, to baby? noon. It's nine to noon, and uh, you know, it's it's fishing with your friends. You get a point per pound for any catfish or carp caught. Whoever at noon is ahead is declared the winner. You win absolutely nothing, but you can brag for that whole week that you beat everybody. There is there is one stand competition that you could win something though. That that is true. That is true, and it's you know. It's not a stand day, though. That's right, because, you know, we did a stand night in August, <clears throat> August 5th, part of the Live Fishing Tournament League. And yeah. then you've got Pon Pontoon Jody's Challenge on uh, Friday nights. Uh, same thing. It's the, pon the Flathead Challenge. You get a point per pound, except for Flatheads, where you get two points per pound. Uh, so, you know, I suggest if you want to try fishing live with against other people, you know, start out with something like that. We send you the link. If you haven't been live before, it's really simple. Someone like myself or Dustin or whatever is, we're talking the whole time throughout that, so you don't got to worry about that. We tell you what Chad is saying. It's a real yeah, great way yeah, to get. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real great way to get started with it. We also have, uh, you know, we've been doing the King of the Tennessee great hey, tournament. But really, Stan, if you don't mind if I interrupt for a second. You, no, go ahead. Not not only those channels, but you can get you can fish any league tournament you want. And well, it's not it's not just for people that are trying to win money. Like you can fish anyone you want. It doesn't matter if you just fish one or you fish all twenty. <laughs> you know, well, so that's the good thing about it is it, it's open to everyone. We didn't have a declaration or anything. Um you know if you want to fish, just fish. Well and, and, it's, and, it's a, and there's, it's about there's some there's some people out there even in our community that um, I guess the thing is controversial because there's money involved. Well, hey, look, don't fish for the money. <laughs> just, just have fun and fish. Well, do it to me. You know, <laughs> like, Kevin, I was trying to build I'll up to it. that. <laughs> I was trying to build up to that. I was starting out with mine and Jody's challenges. You know, it's a weekly thing. It's just, you know, our friends are hanging out. But it can go all the way up to, uh, you know, the live, the live fishing tournament league where it's the same thing. And nobody will be shut out if you want to fish in it. Uh, we've got volunteers Ooh. ready. To, we're going to have as many hosts needed to to cover everybody out there that wants to fish. Uh, you know, it's a great <laughs> within yes, reason. Baby. It's good. <laughs> we're we're already up to three channels in one tournament. Yeah, and most of them are high teens to twenty people already, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that that's going to grow as it gets closer. You know, some people aren't sure if they're available to fish for those, yep. so you're going to have some that are going to enter into that and. Uh, you know, I'm totally excited about it. I, I, I just love how we've got everything from, uh, we've got every challenge. There's a spot out there for everybody to fish. Uh, every, you know, uh, uh, whether you fish blue cats, flatheads, channels, there's a spot out there for everybody. And, uh, uh, you know, if if you want to get involved in any of these, I know for, for uh, the Live Fishing Tournament League, you either got to email uh there's you can email the, any of us, and we'll add you. There's matter. the uh, logo right there. Uh, you can email myself, Kevin, Brian B, Chad. Uh, there is the Live Fishing Tournament League Facebook page. You can go over there. Yeah, cause you can um, you can email any of us, and we'll add you to the tournament you want to be on. So just to make it easy. Yep, we've all got that same sheet, and. It's uh, it's I don't exciting. know if you like, noticed, Dan, but I added two to your tournament. Woohoo! I, I gotta check that now, Kevin. I gotta, I, and if being I could honest, open I've been, up Google Chrome, I'd help you out, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I don't know if we got that. I don't know if I sent that link to JD or not, but uh, it's uh, uh, you talking about you talking about the list of people fishing the tournaments, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, hang on a second. I have it, but it's individual shots. You can look on uh, you can look on Facebook, but uh, I can't even get on Facebook. No, what I'm saying is it it's in dates the way Kevin put it in the pages. All right, so well, like this one here. There you go. Which is it? There you go. And it, and and this may not be the latest updated one for it sure. Is. No, no, there's one. There's a new one. But yeah, that's okay. I had but, to drop out of the first one. There's one more. I think I I updated it two nights ago, maybe. I'll go get it. It's all right. I mean, there's just there's there's Northern View added to one. He's in chat. And then I think No Real Loss added to a few of them. Yep, yep. But there, you know, that's the people that are fishing those. Those are the tournaments. You got Uno on Brian B's channel on four six, the Fishathon, which is uh, uh, Fields to Water on April thirteenth. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, that yeah, and with the, the West West great Derby tournament is there. Huge right now. And the Iron Cat live bait. Looking forward to that one. That's going to be a great tournament. Whisker Derby, you know, always a favorite out there for, for just about everybody. Midnight Madness. The bumping. You know, the boat The boat only ones are, uh, you know, I think that's going to grow at the end. But speaking of the first live fishing tournament league. Man, why'd uh, you let him in here? He got like uh, a yeah, shows. He had a pass. Oh. He, but now, wait a minute. There's rules involved. He was supposed to mail me my stuff. So, you know, if he mailed my <laughs> stuff, then and he said he would, and then I'll, I'll, I'll let him in. You never know. We got Jody out there. How's it going, Jody? Great to see you. There's uh, catfishing Ed J. He, uh, <laughs> Bubble. He, he fished last week's tournament. So there you go. But yes, like Kevin was saying, it is uh, open to everyone. There is no fee involved to join the live fishing tournament league. Zipper uh, sniffer. <laughs> what the what? Everybody wanna everybody wanna steal my things. <laughs> and there we go. There's the uh don't get too wacky now, Brian. <laughs> it stops there. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, I mean the chicken tournament, you know, yeah. that's uh, June. Stan, you might be having a hard time reading this. Uh, what, are you tournament? trying to say I'm old? What are you Man, trying to say? That, I'm, was, saying, <laughs> I'm saying you don't have on enough glasses. You need one more pair. <laughs> but you got the finesse classic. That'll be on um, Brian B. Jeff Morgan, you can get in all of them, brother. All of them. That's right. Absolutely. That is the big difference from last year. Uh, well, one of them that, uh, yeah, just got to email anybody, anybody, myself, Kevin, Brian B, Chad, we can get you in there. Just we'll add I'll, put, it. I'll put a ticker down there. We'll add it to add you to the list and we'll get you the link and you're in. I do feel special. Mad Cats has been sharing a lot of the posts that we've been putting up. Ooh, well, ready? Kevin, why don't why don't you explain why Mad Cats might be doing some of that? <laughs> Could they cool? They cool. No. <laughs> uh, so Mad Cats has so the difference between the league this year and last year is that there are prizes, there are cash prizes, and as of right now, if you win uh, first place for the whole year, you get I think it's eighteen hundred dollars. Again, I can't log in to see, but. Uh, I guess. Eight years, eighteen, I believe. And then uh, second place is something lower than that, and <laughs> lower than that. But it's a work Mad in progress. Mad Cat sponsor? No, I got I got the exact details, but I just can't can't get in it. But um, Mad Cat's is sponsor is one of our uh, tournament sponsors, and they threw up two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars for the, uh, $2, for oh, the biggest man. fish of the year. Did and you so update? That's, that's why we. Um, that's why all fish must be weighed in the live fishing tournament league. If you want the money, 
with a Mad Cat scale. And so this is a, the Kevin. The total was up to. Did you I, update it? I did. Yeah, so, I, this is one I had, Brian. I I told him I'll go. No, 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 not not that. I'm talking about the uh, the prizes. It's twelve fifty for first place. Sounds about right. Twelve fifty for first place, seven fifty for second, and third place five hundred. Two thousand uh, for the big fish. Freddie got us started with the first sponsorship, FOA Customs and Gear. And uh, after that, we've been getting more sponsored uh, monster rod holders. Sponsored five hundred dollars, and they're also nice. going to give two hundred dollars for each tournament you win. With all monster rod holders on the boat, and I got all monster rod holders, and I'm not in one tournament. <laughs> I've been in all. Well, what? <laughs> so that it's... way, that way, you can actually earn money each tournament if you win, and you got monster rod holders, you can win. So that's a four thousand dollar investment. Well, and it's funny that you bring monster rod holders up. Uh, Two stands fishing is the newest member. Of the monster rod holder team, we are, we now have the uh, affiliate links and stuff. I got to, I got to pick oh beef God. with Steve now. I've been with monster rod holders forever, and Steve ain't giving me no affiliate. I feel like Chad now. Oh What's man, up with that? come on, that is, hey, you just had to sign oh, up for dude. it, dude. <laughs> me and Steve gonna have Wait, to talk. You just had to, you know, you just had to sit there at CatCon long enough and keep talking to him, and <laughs> yeah. So he give you a feeling like to leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> hey man, why don't you take Good a and, and yeah, my... yeah, if you leave me alone and stop oh, talking what? about that damn sturgeon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mike Samson, you can. Speaking of monster rod holders, they are also the major sponsor for the gathering and the hey. major sponsor for the uh, largest fish tournament, our largest largest fish for the gathering tournament also. So thank hey. you, Mr. Steve, for all that sponsorship. I'm just going to delete Chrome and see what happens. And uh, we've got... Uh, Kevin, there's... you got... Go ahead, Brian. You got iPhone? Yeah. I got a, I'm a Mac. Go through your Safari instead of your uh, Chrome. I'm on Safari on my phone. Yeah, Safari works way better. I always have an issue with Chrome. Hmm. I'm on Chrome right now. That's why I'm running on this iMac. You, you got a Chrome dome right there. <laughs> hey, who are you calling Chrome? Look at you all shining. Well, now, I'm going to have to defend. I'm going to have to defend. Bald cat, I mean Bobcat, right here, because that was for a great cause. He, you know, he put that up for a great cause, and you can't, you know, when somebody does that, you can't make fun of them. And I'm not only saying that, you know, just because I volunteered to wear a pair of Depends and jump in the river with them on. That's not why I'm trying to defend whoa, Bobcat. Whoa, whoa, right whoa, 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 whoa. That's yeah, not. See, nobody wants true. to see that though. <laughs> that exactly. I'm hoping I get out of it, Palmetto. Like, no, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's <laughs> not completely true. You you did not state that totally right. You're going to jump in the river with a pair of Depends on, sucking a pacifier, holding a lollipop. With a bonnet on your head. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And sing, oh, I said, man. if we got over 4,444, then I'd be singing on the good ship Lollipop. There we go. Now you got it. So. <laughs> on the good ship Lollipop. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Crazy. God. That was a, a, a big shout out to Daryl for that, you know. Over five thousand three hundred dollars raised for a family that, that awesome. you know, when you get them, you you know, and that's by the grace of God. And I know that that uh, that's a big big factor in a lot of our lives out there. And well, it's yeah, a big factor in everybody's right. lives. But uh, that was just uh, man. I mean, goosebumps every time we were we, something came up like that was just uh, amazing. What what our family does for people, and uh, uh, just being part of that was. Uh, we're not strange. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 there, there's not many things that make me speechless, and that's one of them. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it just, uh, it was just unbelievable. So, uh, Daryl, but, but Daryl, thank you, thank you for all the hard work. I know that uh, talking with you for a couple weeks with that, 
Great job you did with that. Yeah. Yep. Deleting it, it, deleting it and reinstalling it works. There you go. And, and all else for I was pulled apart. Yeah. 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 We're going to get to have 15. <laughs> yeah, it does, Dan. I didn't put up all that. Uh, next week, uh, Stan, we're going to get heavier into your tournament coming up because I see we don't have much time left tonight. So, son of a gun, week, we've got to talk heavy about the bank boat. When, oh, I'm oh, glad yeah. you said that. We got plenty of time. That is the yeah. 30th. That is the 30th, right? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I have to bow out. Told you. I knew. Go figure. Fun. Come on, man. Today at, <clears throat> today at work, we went over to our summer shift. Now, mind you, this is a new job. So now I work Tuesday through Saturday, two yeah. weeks back to back. And I'm on the first shift starts <laughs> the 30th and the 6th. We can't Tell me he was a boat fisherman, not a bank fisherman. Oh, he was boat, definitely. Was boat. Oh, well, we don't do it. <laughs> we don't do it. I was looking because I worked the six too. And I was like, that's the Uno tournament. <laughs> but I forgot I got it in the evening for the Uno tournament. Hey, so you better good. get your schedule straight, bro. Hey, once they get it, we just had a meeting today and they was telling us all the details. And I was like, cheapers. Hey, you better tell them you got catfish stuff to do. You ain't got time to do all the working. Oh, I swap with somebody if I got to. I just can't swap on the 30th because so that's the first Saturday we're going out. Hey, Brian, what time is the Uno tournament? I thought it was morning. What time does it start and finish? Six of the evening. What time does it quit? Midnight. Yeah, Dan three going to be busy that day. He got the Hickory, heavy, Hickory Heavyweight during the day on Fish and Fever's channel. Then switching mm -hmm. right over a couple hours later to the uh, to the Uno. Uno tournament. And Brian, why don't you tell – that's the first tournament. And, you, you know, I know a lot of people are uh, – It's just, this is part of the Live Fishing Tournament League. We want to show that we're still having fun. It's still – absolutely. It's still our tournaments. It's still what we have done the past four years. That's kind of so yeah. what's what's the deal with the Uno tournament? The Uno tournament, first of all, thank for Chris and Telly with that idea. They the one that helped me out with that idea. Damn. And it's uh basically no number cards. You'll get I don't know how many yet, but you're gonna have blanks, so you keep your weight. <laughs> You'll have draw two, it doubles your weight. Draw four, quadruples your rate, weight. You'll have reverse. So if somebody caught a fish before you, they get your fish. <laughs> you skip. The person who catches the next fish, they don't get that weight. What? Look, I, I've you got can actually, you can win the tournament and don't catch a fish at all. <laughs> That's what? the tricky part. That's controversial. <laughs> so you have what a way to there. start. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> you have blank for this, so you if it lands on the blank or whatever I decide to put on there, you'll have your fish. Maybe I'm taking. Say, I'm taking the application for a new Joey. Uh, Brandon just texted me and asked me. If I need, if he needed to buy, stop and buy snacks, I said, "Dude, the pork rinds were the most important part of the tournament." <laughs> what the, what the what? You know, what's Bob, the problem, I feel man? your pain. It's tough. You know, I got to deal with stand three with stupid yeah. questions like that. It's like, come on, you know, we've got to get Wawa, the convenience store. First thing in the morning, we get the sausage biscuits. <laughs> we get the Mountain Dew. You know how this works. You got it's just that's your job. It's part of it. So hey, I, have <laughs> the, I have the updated payout now that I have Chrome back. The first place payout is up to eighteen hundred dollars. Second is seven fifty, and third is four fifty. If you use Monster Rod holders and win a win a tournament, you can win two hundred dollars per win. And if you win the big fish of the year, you'll get two thousand dollars. There you go. Thanks to FOA Customs, donated fifteen hundred. Fracture Fix a thousand. Monster Rod Holders five hundred. And of course, Mad Cat's two thousand. So there you go. And somebody else might. Uh, somebody asked me. Uh, Would you put that down? That your your son won that. 
Daryl asked me. That's right. Put it down. He's going to text. <laughs> he's going to jump in chat in a minute. If somebody <laughs> catches, say, an 80 pounder during the Uno <laughs> tournament, that will, oh, this, if you had to reverse and give it to the person that caught the fish before you, you still get credit for the right. biggest fish. Uh, so that would still be your fish because technically you caught it. Right. You give it away. Understands <laughs> that. So, so for the league, for the live fishing tournament league, that big fish for the year, it just because the Uno tournament, during this one particular tournament, you could get the reverse card or this or that. Yeah. Where somebody else gets the points during this one tournament for that, right. you are still credited with catching that eighty pounder. So you're still, if you caught it, you are in the running for that for year. Biggest fish. Long, as long as you weigh it on a mag scale. scale. Yeah. So every time a fish is caught, a wheel gets spun. Spun, right? Yeah, darn. Yeah. That was Bobcat that asked that question. But yes. Thanks, Brian. Put me back. Thanks, Brian. You can stop going back before you can make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so t tonight we were, uh, we still got some time left. We're, we were mainly talking about uh, tournament time. Go keep going. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, if uh, Jody starts at nine o'clock, uh, you tell Jody when to start. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You know how we tell Dustin when Big shop rules. Big <laughs> <shop> rules. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't need to No, anything. but no, seriously. Uh, that's how we work it out. Like if if uh, if we run a little bit late, we run a little bit late. She starts at nine o'clock, and uh, that's how it goes from there. Yeah, we'll just open up another page and just watch her. Because, uh, well, I do the. Uh, you know, Jody and I kind of started that thing, and Ed Evans was the third show on there. We were trying to, both of us were, were trying to help, you know, Ed grow his channel. So we kind of did that transfer, transfer thing where uh, when we set up the live at the end of my live, uh, it worked out good. Uh, I would hit the, where everybody would transfer over to Jody's, you just had to hit yes or no, and boom, you automatically went over there. And then when we had Ed, uh, she did the same thing, and boop, if you were still on there, Ooh. it went over mm -hmm. to Ed, so... Uh, that was, uh, it works out pretty good. So we've still been doing that. So that will come up when, uh, when we end, if you want to go over to Jody's, it'll sit there. I mean, it'll, it'll give you an option to go over there. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Ed Evans is saying 19 tournaments, only one after midnight. Thank you, Brian B for looking after <laughs> the late shift guy. For sure. I you think right. To, you don't have to use the Madcat scale unless you want to earn points for the league. So oh, if, you're, okay. if you're fishing a league tournament and you don't want to be earning points, you can use whatever you want. Absolutely. Yes, yes, there you go. Yeah, so it, we're trying to be as inclusive. The whole uh Kevin, you can you can maybe expand on this a little bit while we start. No, you you had it. I mean, we're not trying right. to mon monopolize anything. You can fish our tournament, you can fish somebody else's tournament, it don't matter, whatever you want to do. It's it is about extra. unity. It's yeah, about, it's you know, bringing everybody. Did. Right. It's something extra we did just to give a little credit for those anglers who work really hard to fish these tournaments and to take to take back what's ours, you know, before other people start doing it. Because yeah. I guarantee you, if we, don't, if, we, if we didn't start with it, other people are going to start making money off these ideas. So it's Absolutely. ours. Chad created Chad created it with the idea and we all have kind of gone different ways with it but it's our community's uh ideas and yeah we, we want to include them too but we don't want them to forget about us which is what they will do and you know what kevin looking back like man i i highly recommend if if for those that have been in the community for those you know what four years now where we started doing the live tournaments and that stuff you know, I went back and I started watching some of the the earlier stuff, and you know, man, everybody out there is whether you've been live, whether you've been in one of the tournaments fishing, whether you've been in chat, whether you you're one of the content creators then, or you've started since then. Like, uh, what what? It's just an amazing journey that you know. I'm going back and look at some of the stuff from four years ago, and 
you know, seeing how it's grown and seeing the different things and uh, just have a, it's, it's just fun going back and watching some of the old, like the, the, that whole first Iron Cat series and the Brian B tournaments and the couples challenges and, mm -hmm. you know, stand day. We used to do stand day where it's just stand three and I out there every Sunday morning. And, uh, you know, we're, we're doing the father son when you're tired and cranky and he didn't stop at Wawa to get me my biscuit. So I'm, I'm <laughs> complaining to him and, <laughs> you know, I, you know I, I will, I do got to say that that stand day idea was to add extra people in there every week. That and Jody Slathead challenge every week. That was a really good idea. I mean, mm -hmm. just to give people that because people like to compete. They say they don't, mm -hmm. but they really do like to. Mm -hmm. And, and, and oh, that, yeah. that gives every you know somebody a weekly fix, I guess. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. I think I thought it was really cool. And um, you know, if I didn't have church on Sunday mornings. I would be in there every Sunday morning. You know, <laughs> you know, dude, you know that, uh, you know, uh, uh, God, God's very important to me. And that was one of the hard things that I, uh, dealt with and still, still do on Sunday mornings because, uh, but that was Some the only morning without church, Dan. I mean, I wouldn't make it a statement. You well, worship without <laughs> church. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and, you know, that's one of the things that I do privately every, every Sunday morning is, is yeah, man. I, I reflect on, you know, uh, I'll take a little bit of time, just just me and God, and I reflect on that every Sunday morning. But that was the day that Stan Three and I could actually get together yeah. and do it. So, and nobody else was doing it then. So that's kind of how it. Uh, yep. You know, but you, there's so many things where, uh, 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 you know, you, there's the Toby Keith song, or not Toby Keith, uh, Trace. Trace Atkins, where it's. Uh, Where's that? I'd rather be on on the water with my mind on God than in church with my mind on fishing. You know, <laughs> if, if you're out there gathered together with, if you have more than one person gathered together with yeah. God, who you're you're praising, that that's considered church. And, yeah, uh, you you're you're out there and uh, and by church I meant like that's where my church is. Your church absolutely. is wherever wherever it is, and in the Bible it says where two or more are gathered in my name. I will be there. The important part to, to remember is in the in my name part. Absolutely. And uh, so, anyway, <laughs> sorry, I got. No, I think it's awesome. I, I really do. I uh, I try to catch it, you know, and I love watching it. I just think it's a positive, wholesome thing, and you know, thank you, thank I think you, it's thank awesome. You. I would you know, only have... suggest that. You go at least four hours, not three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. We're taking that into consideration now. That was kind of. Uh... <laughs> and I'm like, hey, twelve o'clock. Daddy not going live till two, two fifteen. Uh -huh. You're right. You're right, Brian B. You're right. You're right. And I think, and you're more. That's been the uh, general consensus. So you know, you got to listen to what people want. So that may be something that's coming up. Very I got your true. email. I'm gonna put it in the complaint box. <laughs> you, know, hey, you know, you know. Hey, B. You know, people gotta eat. You know, twelve o'clock is time to eat. Hey, hey I'm usually taking a nap right after church. So y'all turn your screen off and, and and hit your mic for a second. Get a grab a bite like I do my Burger King. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you. Thank that you, boy, Thank Jordan, you Daddy. Burger King in a real, second. Real quick, before we get out of here, uh, everybody, join Stan's. Who's, who's getting out of here? What are you talking about? Well, I know he's going to send everybody. To <laughs> Stan's going to be on my, going to be my guest, and hopefully Stan Three is going to make it back in time on Guard Dog Eat on oh, YouTube Sunday. Yeah. on Sunday night at seven p.m. Eastern time. So you guys join us for a fun time. I'm going to tell y'all what the subject will be about because I'm really excited about the subject of what it'll be about at seven p.m. Eastern time on Guard Dog Eat. Well, it's going to be about whatever we talk about. Plus the first, yeah, and plus the first annual whiskers, uh, our first annual live fishing <laughs> winners. That's right. You mean me winning the first, the first live fishing tournament? Here we go. Yeah, Here it's we that go. time. Oh, time. <laughs> and by time by by me, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here we go. 
At least it replaced the Sturgeon story. That's yeah. yeah. ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, oh. you weren't supposed to say that name. <laughs> I, well, I'm I, sure I talked that about that one too. Mind. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I guarantee you he's got it within arm's reach right now. Oh, it's yeah. right there. I've got a, you know, like I said, uh, JG, JG, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Like, uh, you've got me inspired to a whole new level. Like, we're going to get the, prof- we're doing the professional series, uh, uh, Stream yard coming up. Guess what? I even got in the mail today. Special series I gotta get a couple yards. adapters for yeah, it. He's, he's gonna go pro. I've got oh some, I got the microphone, what I got the uh Uh-oh. condenser yeah. mic. Right, I got wait, the you whole, can't just wait, 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 wait. You know, you can't just pop up gear like that and not put it up on big screen. That's like getting a new reel and not showing us. Come on. Uh-huh. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm a bigger tech nerd than I am a fishing nerd. Well, this is, hey, you know I'm what? You got to sweet Kevin's interest, man. <laughs> you you start at whatever level you can. It's got you know the the, the soundboard. What? Yeah, yeah. Got I just con- asked Kevin about one of those the other day. You got the condenser mic. You know all the all the cables and everything. Oh, there we go. So yes, that's gonna be uh. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all right, it's all my fault. Get on Amazon, so let's, hey, let's hey, Kevin, it's all, it's it's all my fault. <laughs> yeah, I, you know. I just, I just pushed him to climb off the cliff. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm getting back into, you know, I did the Excel sheet. JG and I were sitting there working on, we were doing, uh, you know, I've got an old laptop here, but JG has got, uh, we were both, doing the excel thing and I'm, we're kind of doing it through his laptop on wednesday and we're going through the cells and i'm like okay we're going to click this and then what's going to go there yep. and um uh, so we and got I the i'm going to send you this one but it won't you can't sign into it <laughs> yeah. oh, i'm we're, serious i'm 100 you know, serious you know what it is like uh it's a journey it's it's uh i'm i'm so excited about doing doing this part of it uh, sitting here getting to talk and, and host these tournaments and um, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there and I want to tell you something Kevin's getting mail every time his dog bark he's getting mail the <laughs> Amazon <laughs> back in the um, but the thing the serious thing is and it's two stands has been out here for years and Mr. Stan's been out here in this audience for years and he knows everyone um, but he is, the, he is, he has a, a gift like no other. I'm not saying that, you know, other, you know, Chad and Kevin, they all do a really great job, but Stan is a, a very special individual that is a great host. And from anybody that wants a, a great host, you know, you're getting great hosts with Kevin, Stan, Chad, and Brian B of course. But I'm telling you, um, I just look forward to, the, uh, Stan, Uh, growing his channel and uh, if you're not subscribed to two stands fishing please go subscribe to his channel but he is one awesome person and i'm backing him 100 percent oh you know i'm the emotion on the sleeve guy you got me crying jg you you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it man you you you're you are i you are one of the best Oh, if thank not, you. <laughs> I'll stop it. <laughs> and that's how I feel. And I got this one you can have. Oh, I <laughs> no. no, absolutely. I mean, we can get you up and running. I mean, I've got MacBook Pros laying around myself, but Kevin, you know, Kevin to reach out there to you, it'll help you a lot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got I got the old Dell. I yeah, got the old Dell. No. <laughs> oh, really? Get that right. You buy that radio shack? All Put you that, need is a Chromebook, really. <laughs> Put that on the uh, on the wall in the bathroom, mm-hmm. so when you take a bath, you can watch uh, YouTube over it. That's about it. Yeah, that hey, Kevin said all you need was Chrome. Yeah. Chromebook. Uh, Chromebook. Well, yeah. and look at this. You know, we talked about we talked about fishing on the cheap for however long. With you, you start with uh, your Walmart rods, and you do this, and you do that, and it's the same yeah. thing for. Same thing. You know, same thing for YouTube. Like I was always so scared, and yeah, I probably I have probably had more hours live, not only on my channel but other channels, uh, than anybody out there. 
Yet I was scared to even try to mess with a banner or the brand on StreamYard. Like, it's just uh, mm -hmm. ridiculous. But, <laughs> you know, you, you, you get motivated and, uh, you know, that's the next journey. Like, that's where we're going from there. Like, the, the fishing thing, I've done that for 50 whatever years. And I love doing that. I'm still going to do that. But this is like that next. I'm, I'm just uh, super excited about continuing doing this i love talking with people i love trying to help and teach and uh all that stuff so absolutely <clears throat> what the thing is we're, we're turning <laughs> we're, we're turning into uh as chad groomed us as great dictators and we're that's right. great dictators <laughs> and that's right. with that we gotta have the right equipment that's right you know i'm gonna be the tournament i got the one tournament there but uh i know i'm already signed up to host uh the Brian B's uh, <laughs> Midnight Madness, hey, probably same. by default because hey, nobody wants to say the five. Hey, <laughs> I, I told I told I told them when I uh, when we did it, I said Stan ain't gonna have to host the other one because it won't be more than one channel. And I said <laughs> you old fox can't stay up that late. <laughs> well, I can tell you that. Thank you, thank you. Every single tournament we have right now is gonna need two channels. Two channels at least, yeah. Um, what about working to three? Fishathon's gonna need three, and mm -hmm. a Whisker Derby's gonna need three right now. And that's as of right now. I mean, we're not even at yeah. the first tournament yet. So yeah, so like the uh, yeah, there's a couple. The couples challenge will be happening in September, I believe, mm -hmm. and that's that's the OG mm -hmm. one. So you have to stay tuned on Field of Water to get that. One. Yeah, Dustin is uh, stand three. Met Dustin at the boat ramp over here on the James River, and uh, you know. Again, that's why I, I challenge everybody out there, uh, be the catfish ambassadors. Uh, when you meet people out there, talk with them. If they need something, help them out. If you got bait left over when you get back to the ramp, give it to the people on the bank. Uh, you know, anything you can do like that, that is just going to be betterment for everybody else out there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And but now he's he's here and wanting to be part of the community. I got him. I got an email from him that I'm going to answer as soon as we get off of here. He might be fishing stand day with us already. So they got you back on there. Thank you. There you go. But uh, with that being said, does anybody else? You know, tomorrow morning, nine a.m. Right here, on two stands. We're doing the the. Uh, the king of the Tennessee River, currently in the lead, is you got Ray Ferguson. But uh, we've got a strong candidate, and you've got a pretty dang good. Uh, I'll tell you what, you, you're not going to find two two people, too many people better than Bobcat for Shizzle out there. Well, I, my money is on team whoever is not from Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a cup full of heat. I hope you mess it, man. Full of heat. Darryl, you're not from the same heat. Thank you, Peter Bear, Brian. You ain't well, from the same heat. I good luck. I'll be on a plane all day tomorrow, most likely. Maybe okay. I'll catch you on my four hour layover, but. We're going to visit my grandmother in Colorado. Nice, dude. Nice trip, bro. Oh, yeah. I forgot you were. Hey, you, you want to meet Deion Sanders? I'll give him a call. Let him know you're coming in town. I'm all right. You could go <laughs> fish. He got a couple lakes out there. I'm all right. This is a this is a non YouTube <laughs> trip that I promised my wife. <laughs> yeah, no YouTube, Kevin. I'm not, no YouTube. Like, I wasn't even going to take my, like, my camera camera that I take pictures with. Oh, but yeah. then she found this, like, scenic drive that we're going to go through and look at mountains. So I was like, okay, I'll bring it. Kevin going to be walking around with his GoPro chest mount on. I'm going to be talking to myself. <laughs> oh, man, I bet there's a big catfish in there, y'all. Check that out. Oh, way. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> going through the motions. Yeah, absolutely. But now my grandmother um is in her late 80s and Anna's never met her and I hadn't seen her in 13 years. Wow. So oh, wow. Yeah. It's going to be an awesome trip. Yeah, and, wow. uh Hopefully, when we get back, I'll do some fishing. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, if you don't. Yeah, I think that will be a great idea. Absolutely. You know, for, for those that are out here watching, I uh, don't know. I mean, I see a lot of folks in here that we do know. 
but these guys have some great YouTube channels. Um, you know, Trophy Seeker Outdoors, uh, Two Stands Fishing, uh, Bobcat, um, Brian B. Cat Fishing, and uh, Palmetto Cats. I have a channel. It's, it's up and coming, growing. There's only one video on there, but I've got, I've got, uh, I've got all the equipment, and um, I used to do a lot of drone photography for real, real, real estate. And so I, I, I have the means and I know how, so I'll, I'll work on that. But I really appreciate everyone coming in here. And, um, you know, we're going to have two stands. Uh, and I, I'll try to come up tomorrow with him and host some on that King of Tennessee. And uh, thanks to uh, Catfish Sumo for sponsoring the belt for that. Daryl, you got any sponsors you want to throw out there for that tournament? Uh, no, that's the main one is Catfish Sumo, guys. We really appreciate what he did and bought the belt and keeps this thing going for us for sure. And I did catch some. He was a stand-up guy, man. I caught some hickory shad on the sumo spoon. So there's another whole species uh, on the James River. You know, I've I've heard they're sold out of the uh, the other spoons around here. Get on catfishsumo.com and get yourself some sumo spoons. Free shipping work on the hickory shad. You get free shipping, and if you put TSO ten, you save ten percent. There you go. Are the hickory shad running? Yeah, early, early this year, dude. Like everything. It, low 40s was the lowest temperature water temperature we got this year. Uh, past couple years, it's been like that. The previous years, it was in the low 30s, like 34, 35. Y'all just leave them alone. Let them go on migrate. They're coming up here. <laughs> get them all before they get to Brian. Brian but, uh, get Bob, out anything out. you'd like to add about the uh, anything at all? King of the Tennessee, uh, make sure you get your link out there for your uh, the Horizon Spring. Horizon I can never remember it, but. Oh, yeah. Let me link for the shirts for the gathering. Let me put that in the chat right quick. Come on, ball. I'm going, man. I'm going. Yeah. I'm old. Hey, are, you three making, said he are you making caught... stickers for that? I, I, you know, I should. I need to. I can actually, I can I, do that. I have the technology. We have the power. And we have towels have also. Technology. If anybody wants to buy towels, I can ship them to you also. So yeah, there you, there you go. go. And there's a link at the bottom of the page. It takes you to the PayPal and lets you choose the sizes. Blah blah blah. Da 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 da. If you so, are you shipping those shirts, or are you just giving them to the ones that's going to be? There? No, this is just for the people. To, it's just like it's prepaying, so we don't print a whole bunch of shirts that we don't sell. So but if I order I one now, you'll ship it to me, right? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch you that much. He's, he's honest. Hey. He's honest. He's so honest. basically, he said, I'll, <laughs> I'll ship it to you, Uncle B. Yeah, I think yeah, that was. Second, that was if, I had, if I did it for you, I'd have to do it for everybody. Everybody's going right. to hit the thumbs up, guys. We only got 35 thumbs up. What the heck? What the fish <laughs> <What? up>? <laughs> <laughs> What the fish know. snatcher? Yeah. They be so tuned in, they don't hit the thumbs up no more. Oh, orange? Is that the color? Ooh, I don't know about that. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh, well I don't know what, Kevin. Everybody. Bob, you I can't be looking like a road cone, bro. If it ain't green, kill me. I tell you what, like, you'd be surprised. Orange is, like, the most popular color out there. No, I agree. It looks great on some people. It's not real. fat people. <laughs> yeah, you know, we look like we look like big, better? big giant pumpkins. No, green is look I, was, I was thinking black, maybe. Just got black and white straps. That'll make you really look big. As long as the vertical the artwork wouldn't show up all in on, in on a black shirt. But but that right there is Bobcat's. Uh, now Bobcat, you do stickers and shirts and everything else, right? So if anybody needs any yes, of that I'll information, do. they can get in touch with you there. They can go there straight there without the uh, slash. Hey, Bob, Bobcat, I just want to give you fair warning. You know, I, somebody was kind of milling around at your place today, and you might want I to check the boat a little bit before you go out in that thing. Well, I've locked up and I've locked up and put a. Well, I'm not going out. I'm not fishing the tournament. We'll be in Brandon's boat tomorrow. No, right. so, I'm just saying. Next time you go out, you know. Oh, I know. All right. I know. A little, little short guy was back there. Yeah, the yeah. Mm -hmm. I just know. thought. Yeah. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. Just text you and say, "My bad, dude." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brian, anything you want to add about uh, the your your tournament coming up? The very first tournament in the second season of the 
Live Fishing Tournament League. Well, since you said it, hey, don't be scared. Sign up. Sign That's up right. for all of them. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. So, hey, Stan, and if don't they, hesitate. You know, if they get out there and win, they can they can win win a medal. That's right. You never know. You never win know. Yep. Yeah. Just tune in. Yeah. Hey, and uh, don't forget that the cutoff for each tournament is one week before the tournament. And so, the big reason for that is, is we've got to coordinate who's who's hosting it. Yeah. Get all that set up. Get the stream set and up. Links. We got we got sponsors link, yep. now, so we got to make sure we have sponsor videos and all that yep. stuff. So we serious now, bro. Yeah, yeah. we are being yeah. the dictators of the world now. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean we as like me and Brian and Chad. I mean like we as a community. We big. We big time. That's right. That. That's we right. moving up. Uh, Jeez. So when y'all tell y'all friends about us and they go to our channels and look and y'all in chat, wow. Hey, because wow. some people still think we, I mean, in 2009 ain't nothing to, to throw, you know, black <laughs> tail at, but like it, ain't, it ain't like it ain't nothing, but the Big Cat Brawl, the, the first place prize for one tournament was $10,000. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. We just had it on Santa Cuba. 100, boat. 136 I'm boats. First prize was ten thousand dollars. Big fish was six thousand for one tournament. Yeah, we gonna get we gonna get there. We're we moving in that direction. We gonna get there. We just need people to believe in us. So Absolutely. You can, well, you I, can help I, us do that by registering for the tournament. I believe, and you want to come out, have some fun. You want to fish these. You want to fish some of these big <laughs> tournaments. I mean, feel the movement. Be part of the be part of the movement. You gotta get out there. You're gonna have some fun. I guarantee you. You're gonna look at the host. You got three of us. Plus, you add Chad on there. You never know. We get four or five. You're gonna have JG. You're gonna have all these amazing hosts. You're gonna be bro, fishing. It's fire, bro. Where can you go? Where else can you go out there and the fish the the world class tournament anglers for nothing? Whether you win or lose, you can say, "Hey, you might win." I beat Ray Ferguson. He was the world champion yeah. cat fisherman, and, and you could say you beat him. I'm taking him down tomorrow. True For that. nothing. And, and Bob, how much? To? What was the entry fee you paid, Bob, to enter into this Zero. amazing tournament? Zero. Woo. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. No so, entry fee, and you got a chance of winning some good coins. Holy smokes! Uh, yeah. Stan three did have one question. Uh, is there? With the monster rod holders. Yeah, all you got to do is email catfishinginfo at gmail.com so that Steve can make sure he's got your information. He said if you ordered in the past 10 years, he's most likely got it, but he just wants to double check. But it's the same deal he gives, almost the same deal he gives a live fish, almost. Hey. You know, people are skeptical still. Mm -hmm. but almost the same deal he gives the uh, live tournaments, in well, tournaments. Kevin, as being at CatCon and, and people were anybody that kind of heard about it were like, what? Like, you know, they were listening. They were like, uh, oh, this, this what's going you on. You said that was uh, catfishinfo at gmail.com, Kevin. Bob just put it in there. Okay. Yep. I there beat you, you Catfishinfo at gmail.com. I was going to put the old there. man typing it in fast, but. <laughs> <laughs> JG, anything you want to add? Uh, you know, appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with us here on, on two stands Friday night cat chat. And, uh, you know, we just, it's just going to get better and better and better. I really appreciate everybody coming in here this afternoon and spending your, spending your Friday afternoons with us. Uh, you know, watch some cat. We've got a lot of cat fishing coming up this weekend. We've got pontoon Jody's coming on next. We'll uh, redirect you over there. Uh, if you have your, uh, feed turned on, uh, to, uh, redirect. And so we've got the tournament king of Tennessee tomorrow. Uh, thanks to Catfish Sumo, we've got stand day coming up. That's nine to 12 on Sunday. And I really, really want to thank all of these uh, wonderful people for coming up on panel uh, this afternoon with us. Really, really makes the show and I appreciate you. And um, appreciate, I, I noticed that a lot of people out in the chat was saying hello uh, to me and the others on the panel. And uh, hello to you. And, and I appreciate, appreciate you being out. And with that well, being said, after. boom, boom, bam, make sure you catch, check out the king of the Tennessee. It might be the queen if, you know, 
with a uh, uh you said it right. you were about to say it right, even if Chad wins, <laughs> it's gonna be the queen. <laughs> hey. You saw that, right, Brian? You saw yeah. that. I was trying to figure out how to word it. If we could I'm just sure. get Chad wearing the moo while he was Love fishing, we'd be four. We'd hey, we working on something. Time. We working hey, on a special one. Yeah. Come I know, on, man. I don't All work right. for me. Hey, we appreciate you, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. And you guys have a good evening. Hey, See you, everybody. My phones are too small. This is. Oh, there we go. That's right. Check out Fishing Unleashed. We're gonna have a show about that with Dan and and Fishing Unleashed, the month long tournaments online. Deuces, we are out.